You are welcome to the Scholar School. We establish our footprints on the sand of time. Experience the difference. Welcome to the class. So here we have the factual two lessons. So now we are going to do basically with the less formula. Now the less formula, we have a diagram where you have your object, you have your lens. It could be the converging lens and it could be the diverging lens. And likewise, we have our screen. One thing you must know that the focal length, length of both the diverging lens and the converging lens differs. Now here, we have our formula to be 1 over F to be equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. Our F is the focal length. Now, our U here is the object distance. And our V here is the image distance. Now, the object distance here is talking about the distance between the object and the lens. And our V, the distance between the image and the lens. So, you are going to be given the value and probably be asked to find the focal length of this lens. And at times, you might be given the focal length and you'll be asked to find the image distance or the object distance. Now, let us solve example one. We have a converging lens of length 5 cm. Forms a visual image which is 10 cm from the lens. How far from the lens is the object? A converging lens of length 5 cm forms a visual image which is 10 cm from the lens. How far is the lens? How far from the lens is the object? That means here we are given two things. We are given the what? The focal lens. Focal length, which is our F, the what? 5 centimeter. And likewise, here we are also given, it says, from, from a virtual image, which is 10 centimeter. That means we have our what? It says, our uh, 10 centimeter from what? From the lens. That means we are given what? We are given the image distance, which is what? Our V. But our image distance here, when you notice this, it says forms a virtual image which is 10 cm from the lens. Our image distance here now carries a negative sign, which is our minus 10 cm. And the last one now says how far is the lens from the what? From the object. That means now find the what? Object distance, which is our what? Our U. We are given the focal length. We are given the what? The image distance. And we are given the what? The object distance. We are not giving the object distance. So we have asked to find the object distance. That means the, using sorry. the same formula. Why is the image distance minus 10? Yes, now it says it forms a virtual image. Now, when we are using um, less, the, we have different types of less. We have the convergence and the divergence. Now, the image are always in different pattern. Some are always magnified, some diminished, some virtual, some uh, um, um, we have real, we have uh, magnified. We also have inverted images. Like I think diverging lens always invert images. Okay. So what yes, opposite. So this could be the diverging lens. Because I said something earlier that their focal lens are always different. How and do we now identify that this is the kind of lens we are? Now here, yeah, from here we have it says forms a virtual image. This statement has already told us what's the value of the image distance. So now to now solve this question, we use our next formula, which is 1 over f to be equals to to be equals to a 1 over u plus 1 over v. And even if you don't want to like confuse yourself, just do away with this and use this one. Are you getting this thing at all? You will still arrive at the same answer. But if you are not using this minus here, what do we now do? It will not be like this. It will be 1 over V, then to be equals to 1 over probably our F 
n minus 1 over v. So since you are using this formula, we might not necessarily use Yes, because here, here now, they say 1 over minus u plus 1 over, uh, 1 over minus v plus 1 over u plus 1 over f. But because of this particular statement, they might like want you to indicate the negative sign. It is the question that will tell you what exactly your um, your image distance is. It says it produces a what a virtual image. That means you are indicating with minus. Suppose if it is another thing else, they wouldn't have put this virtual image. They can just tell you okay with the image distance of ten centimeter. They already want you to like okay it, it's not negative sign. Okay. It's not negative ten. But in this case, we make use of our negative ten. The question might change is the next example will tell us okay we are now using positive step so now so we use this one we have one over f now what's our f here five centimeter that means one over five equals one over what is my u it is not given plus one over what is my v that is minus what minus 10. so i have what one over five equals one over u minus what one over 10. So if I make my 1 over u the subject of formula, it becomes 1 over u equals what? 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10. Are we getting this in at all? So that we have our 1 over u to be equal to the LCM here becomes 10. So here we have what? 2. Have it? And here we have what? 1. So we have it to what? 3 over 10. So that 1 over u is equal to 3 over what? 10. We are making u the subject of formula. So we cross multiply. So we have our 3u to be equal to what? 10. So therefore, our u equals what? 10 over 3. Centimeter what? Centimeter what? So this now becomes our what? Our object distance. Now, for better understanding, let us solve another question. Here we have the image of a plane formed by a diverging lens. Now they are now indicating the type of lens we are using. Which I said earlier that the, the focal length of each of these lenses give us. Now here we have a diverging lens. It says the image of a plane formed by a diverging lens of focal length 10 cm is 5 cm from the what? From the lens. Find the object distance. Now the focal length which is our f, we are given 10 centimeter. Now, the focal length of a diverging lens is always a negative sign. I mean, always carries a negative sign. That means you have it to be minus 10 what, centimeter. That means the first one they give us is for a what? Converging lens. The focal length of a diverging lens here is what? Minus 10 centimeter. Now here they say find the what the object distance, object distance. Now the object distance is given to what our u have it. Yes. So we have it to be our u to be the unknown value. And here we have our the image distance here, our image distance which is v. Now it says the image being formed by a divergence lens of a focal length, ten centimeter is five centimeter. Length. Now here, here our uh, um, our image distance here is going to be a negative sign too. Why? Because according to the description here, it is said that uh, the image form is a virtual image. That means we say whenever a virtual image is formed, it when is focal, always a what? Sir? When you focal. No, no. The focal length here is negative for diverging lens. That means we, we come to a conclusion that here, for all diverging lens, we always have the image produced to be, to be a virtual image. And whenever a virtual image is formed, the distance between the image and the lens is always a, what, a negative one. So here, we have our virtual our image distance to be what, minus 5 centimeter. Minus 5 centimeter. Now, here we have to find out what, our u. And we have 1 over f to be equal to what, 1 over u plus 1 over v. What is our f? Minus 10. That is 1 over minus 10. It equals to 1 over u plus 1 over what? Minus 5. When I make 1 over u the subject of formula, I have 1 over u to equals what? Minus 1 over 10 
plus 1 over 5. Ali? So that my LCM here will be my 10, which is minus 1 plus 2. So that I have 1 over u equals what? 1 over 10. So that my u becomes what? 10 centimeters. Are we getting this thing at all? My u here becomes what? 10 centimeters. Which is what? The object distance. Our V is the what? Image distance. And our F is the focal length. The focal length of a diverging lens is even from the focal length of a what? Of a converging lens. And their magnifications are different. Are we getting this in at all? We have minus 5. Why? Because the, the image distance of the diverging lens here, the, only, the image from there is what virtual images and having the what the image distance is what 10 centimeters and this has to solve the question now this one is now quite different now here we have what a real image it is not what now virtual that means we are not talking about is it avalanche or covalence now covalence do you understand that at all now that automatically means the focal length will not be what is it positive or negative positive you understand that? So that means the uh, image distance will not be what? Still positive. Why? Because this, the image form is what? Is real and not what? Virtual. So that's it. We have a real image of an object formed by a converging lens of focal length 15 cm. If the distance of the object from the lens is 20 cm, find the image distance. Now here, we are giving the focal length to the what? 15 centimeters. That means our F here. For what is now the type of lens we are using? A converging lens. Why? Because the image is what? Is real. So we have our focal length to be what? 15 centimeters. Now, if the distance of the object from the lens is what? 20 centimeters. That means we are giving what? U to the what? 20 centimeters. The one says find the image distance. That means find what? V. So we are using the same formula. One over f equals what? One over u plus one over v. What is my f? Fifteen. That is one over fifteen equals one over twenty plus one over v. I make one over v the subject of formula. I have what? One over v to be equivalent to what? One over fifteen minus one over twenty. So I have one over v. To be the LCM here, I have my um, I have five times four, five times four times three, which is sixty, Ali. Which is sixty. So sixty divided by fifteen here, that is four. So I have four minus this is three, Ali. So I have one over v to be equal to one over what sixty. So my V automatically becomes of 60 what? Centimeter. And that's how to solve question A. For what? For our what? Our image distance. You know, here we are given the object distance to be 20 centimeter. Our image distance becomes what? 60 centimeter. Please, we are working on what type of lens? Converging lens. That means the image of a converging lens is always what? V. It doesn't have just that simple cast. I see that it is real. There are some cases we have some, they are always like magnified, we have some diminished, all of that form like that. But the focal length of the converging lens is always what? Positive. And that's why the focal length of the diverging lens is always what? Negative. We understand that. And this is how to solve question under uh, lens formula. Whenever we are given the focal lens, the image distance, and likewise, your distance. So, thanks for watching the video and make sure you like, share, and subscribe.